Thursday. Pretty sure it's Thursday. You press a button here and see what happens. Nothing. Okay. Gotta press a few buttons. Yes, Thursday the 24th of June. Whew. Gives me 16 days. Anyhow. <laughs> it's not a bad morning. It was very foggy and chilly when I first woke up. But, uh, so I stayed in bed late, unfortunately. Because I didn't feel like going out in the cold. And I apologize. I'm moving the camera all over the trace trying to get things readjusted and straightened out again. I just fell again. And I'll show you the root that got me. I didn't see it as not stapled down like the others. All the others are held down pretty good. My foot got underneath it and it kept on going with me. It went all the way up. So I ended up falling over there because it wouldn't let go. Anyhow, not a bad day today. I will be coming up on the 500 mile marker. I haven't completely decided whether I'll cross it today or not because they've got all those bear signs up here and they put bear boxes in for that reason and they listed out exactly where they are, etc, etc. And there's one about a half a mile before the 500 mile mark. So I have to get there and then reassess. Alrighty. I'll see you all later. I'll probably put you on before then. There's a couple other things coming up on the way. Bye bye. Uh, this is is this the Grayson Highlands? I don't think so. But it is an open pasture. And there were indications from the write-ups on the map that people expected to see ponies here today. Or the days they were here. And they didn't, and they were disappointed. Are they right or are they wrong? I have no idea. Sorry about that. I'm switching hands. The other thing that's kind of annoying is I don't see any painted blazers on anything in either direction. And there's two directions to go. There is an orange peel there. Someone else maybe was sitting here for an hour trying to guess which way to go. And it could be this way. Or that way. This comes out of the woods. So I don't know. I don't see any blazes going this way either. And this is where I get annoyed with the lack of consistency in the markings. But I'm going to do my best guesses and see what happens. I hope it doesn't take me too long to figure it out. Alright, it's um, 5 or 6 in the evening. I don't know which, I'm not going to look right now. I'm going to walk another 100 feet and then I'll look to see if I'm on the red line or not by the GPS and the app. If I'm off the red line, I went the wrong way. If I'm on the red line, I probably went the right way. And that's been the way I've been figuring it out for a while. When I get to an impasse like this where both ways look probable. The other way looks more probable. I will say that right now. Nobody's used that gate in a while. But people have used that a little more recently, that path, because the grass is knocked down. Matter of fact, the reason they haven't used the gate is they can just walk right over the fence. And people have been doing that. So, yeah, don't know. All right, bye-bye. Put the camera on and get a shot of this. This is the 500 mile marker. It's up near the Grayson Highlands. I'm not exactly sure 
where Grace and Highland starts and ends. Everybody talks about it, and they all talk about it like it's... I don't know, it's hard to say. I mean, I can pinpoint it on a map, but... Uh, I don't know, it's the general area. So, I'm ready. We turn this off and start heading down and out. I know the ponies are somewhere around here. Some people see them, sometimes they don't. We'll see what happens. That is it just flew over when I turned the camera on. But uh this is the Grayson Highlands, I guess. And big rocks. And you gotta climb up it from down there to get to this spot. And then this spot has some very nice views. I don't know what kind of rock this is. I'm going to call it obstacle rock because it's an obstacle. And there are the ponies. What I did is a couple dozen in the general vicinity. They are wild, meaning they're not domesticated at all, not tame. But they don't really look to hurt hikers, from what I understand. And they're blonde. Right. And there's the same type of bird, if not the exact same bird. It's a bird of prey, I can tell by the wings. Not like the green uh, Vulcan chip. He's mostly a very dark color, but he's scanning the area for lunch. I'm going to sit down for a minute. And... Normally, I would walk over to the edge of that cliff to see what was on the other side. But, even if I was feeling it with the ponies here, I don't want to upset anybody. This one looks much smaller than the rest. So I'm guessing that might be mom and dad, but I don't know pony culture, so... And there's another guy over there laying down, and every now and then his tail goes up. I hope he's taking a nap, and he's not injured, because I know... Horses aren't supposed to lay down. When they do, it's indicating they're not feeling well. So, all right, we turn this off. Sit down for about three more minutes and then get up and go. And hopefully don't break my face going down that. Well, that's not half as bad as going over that. Of course, I don't know what's on the other side. I can only imagine, it's like a valley surrounded by stone and there we go this is a one of the more attractive views I apologize I'm just feeling a little grumpy today and you can see the horses behind me now it wasn't that far of a distance uh, and there's the lame pony. You're not supposed to go over and interact with them. And they come over to interact with you, you're supposed to discourage it. Very interesting caves that someone may live in. This one's even much bigger. This is on the way down from the Grayson Highlands, heading northbound. Goodbye.